on YouTube, Correct S7 here for the review of Hull City versus Man United. Now, I know this game is a few days old, uh, so I want to keep it real short and sweet. You guys probably already heard enough about it, but I really want to get in my 3-2-1 votes for this game, so that's why I'm doing a review. Uh, I went away camping for the weekend, so I wasn't home, wasn't able to watch it. I watched it last night, and um, yeah, here I am this morning, waking up uh, and doing a review. So quickly, uh, my opinions on the game. It was a very frustrating game to watch, not because we played badly at all, just because Hull didn't want to participate in the game. They just didn't want to have a crack at us, you know. They did, in the first half, had a few, you know, counter-attacks. You know, they did have a few chances, and I remember Huddleston getting close in the second half, but... In that second half, it was all one-way traffic, really. You know, we were dominating, and they were just so hard to break down, and they were just willing to give us the ball back over and over and over again. And when teams do that, they just sit deep. They just sit too aligned. They're just they're hard to break down, and we struggle to break them down. And I thought, with the weather, it was pissing down rain. I was thinking to myself, shit, we're not going to win here. But luckily, we had Marcus Rashford and, mate, their kid... Still living a dream. His fairy tale, his career is just continuing and it's just fantastic. So, um, for the game, lads, I've got the starting lineup here. We had De Gea and Goal. Wasn't really tested. He, he really could have been missing for this game and no one really noticed, really. Valencia thought he was fantastic, as was Luke Shaw. Bombing down those wings, putting crosses in. Uh, I think that these two are up for a big season, Valencia and Luke Shaw. I think they are. Same as Eric Bay and Daly Blind. I know they weren't tested much, uh, the whole defence, rather, and De Gea, but they were still fantastic. They were still sharp. Uh, I was really happy the way our uh, defence is shaping up this season. It's going to be very hard for Chris Smalling to break into this team, even though he did come on at the end there. Uh, Fellaini... I knew it was going to happen. Every I knew he just couldn't keep this form up. Fellaini did, did have a disappointing game. It wasn't the worst game we've seen Fellaini play, but definitely not to the standard in the first two games that he had. Pogba, I thought was really good. Pogba, I know he didn't have his end product, but he was creating chances. He was creating spaces, and for years, we've been screaming out for this midfielder, and for games like this, he was making chances happen, passing the ball, keeping the, the tempo going real good. So... I thought Pogba was fantastic, even though, like I said, he didn't get any end product. Mata struggled a bit. He had a free kick that was a bit straight. Um, a bit too straight for the keeper, sorry. Yeah, he had an okay game. Same as Rooney. They had average games. Nothing to be, uh, to scream about. And uh, Anthony Martial continues his poor form, if you ask me, in this team. Maybe it's time to give Memphis a crack, but... I don't know now, we've got the derby coming up, but uh, Anthony Martial, uh, definitely disappointing this game. I think it's a bit of a Euros hangover. He had a big season last season, went to the Euros. Maybe he should have had an extended holiday like Pogba, but he came back early and he's been struggling. Same as Latan Ibrahimovic, I thought he created a few chances. Bit, bit of, bit of something. He made, tried to make something out of nothing always because he didn't have the ball too much. The ball wasn't played to him too, too much, and uh, str uh, struggled to create chances. But um, just more slash that shots than you know than he's normally been taking uh, good, good uh, quality shots in the first couple of games. Uh, who came on? We had Smalling come on, Rashford came on, and Mikatarian. I thought he was really good off the bench. I thought Mikatarian was absolutely. Just a good burst of uh, energy in that uh, second half when he came on. But anyways, get to my 3, 2, 1 votes. Um, honorable mentions who didn't get votes, which was so close to getting, was Daily Blind. Thought he was superb. He was so, so close to getting votes. Valencia and Luke Shaw getting down those wings. They were superb, but all unlucky not to get any votes today. So I'm giving one vote to Marcus Rashford. Got the goal winner. You know, what more do you want? He looked unbelievable. Taking on players left, right, center. Getting around and making chances. I mean, even just before he scored, he made uh, Hull's keeper make a really good save. Good stretch. And uh, unlucky not to score there. So, uh, Marcus Rashford was all the difference. Uh, two votes goes to Pogba. I know it's not a flash Oh my god, what a Paul Pogba type of game. But he was the one creating chances. He was the one keeping the tempo going. And I thought he was just creatively just our only outlet. 
you know, just persistently the whole game. And three votes, man of the match for me today was Eric Bailly. The lad is just continuing his great form. Mate, what can I say? Three games in and, and another man of the match, you know, even the uh, Community Shield, he was fantastic. Uh, Bournemouth, he was fantastic. He is having an unbelievable start to this season. I hope he can... Uh, continue this great form. I'll tell you what, and it's going to be so hard for Chris Smalling to get back into this team because Daily Blind and Eric Bay are having superb season. They're creating a very good partnership. But uh, anyways, lads, the Manchester Derby is coming up. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, some rumours that Aguero is not going to be um, playing because of the elbow against uh, Winston Reid against West Ham. That's going to be interesting if he doesn't play, especially at Old Trafford. Jose Pep Guardiola, I'm looking forward to that. And if all goes well, maybe I might do a live stream for that. Get your comments in below. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We've got a Fantasy Premier League video coming up, my review of Game Week 3. But until next time, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Take care and peace.